Appreciate it. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. Uh, if you uh, want to shoot the shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, like a phone case or a duvet cover or a shower curtain, uh, check out our shop. Uh, most importantly, however, if you want to be on a one shot, we've got two, one tomorrow, one Saturday, or on the talk show on Tuesday, hit us up, mhobo Inc., Gmail or Twitter, and we'll go ahead and get you on the show. Uh, and you can have a two hour bit of fun there. Uh, thank you to our sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice, dice that will someday kill the tri generational campaign goers, courtesy of Lear. All hail Lear. Uh, and if your game stinks, don't forget to pick up some Adventure Sense from oddfishgames.com. Oddfishgames.com, maker of Adventure Sense to make your game smell better. Also, they've got the Shine system, which helps you write better. And coming soon to a Kickstarter near you, how to RPG with your cat. Uh, that being said, before we get on to the recap, let's go ahead and introduce you to the folks who are going to be playing. You know, David, I always slight you, so we're going to start with you tonight. David, who are you? Who do you play? <laughs> Hi, I'm David. I uh, sometimes do the Tuesday show between the roles, and I'm on the Saturday campaign. Uh, I play the better Inveg. of the campaigns. <laughs> there we go. It's the champagne of campaigns. That's true. There we go. Miller High Life. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, Caitlin, stop shaking your head. We know tonight I'll be playing Zadar. So sorry. Uh, and you are currently uh, looking like uh, I'm still looking like uh, a Talosian female. Very good. You are the gender fluid changeling who will never fucking play in my campaigns again. No more. Never. <laughs> uh, let's see, Caitlin. Uh, you'll be up next. Tell us about yourself. Tell us about your campaign. Tell us about this campaign. Wait, what? Sorry, tell me about my campaign. What? <laughs> tell us about. Yeah. I don't know. I said it. it was like, tell me about your campaign. It was like Brrr, on my end. I'm like, why did this it, sound? it came through Just that way on my end know. too? Okay. So it's, so it's me. <laughs> Okay, I'm Caitlin. <laughs> I got a wonderful mushroom background tonight. <laughs> and I play Daphne the Seafoam Paladin here on Not Cacophony Anymore. <laughs> it's still Cacophony, you just aren't there anymore. Yeah. And you also play on the Thursday campaign, right? Yep, and then also play Thursday as Cleo the Asimar. Very good. Last but certainly not least, normally behind the camera, also behind the camera tonight, also in front of the camera tonight, my wife, Carrie. Carrie? Oh. Tell yeah. He got it <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, inside joke, folks. Uh, Carrie, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. Uh. Steve the Pooper. <laughs> uh, there you go, folks. Um, I was going to say something. It was probably snarky. Oh, no, that's what it was. Uh, don't forget, folks, we are for mature audiences only. So if you got young kids there, uh, earmuffs. Folks, uh, these guys have been in the country of Telosia. They were hired out of Cacophony, where they spent most of their formative years. Uh, and they were hired to go investigate the mysterious Tower of the Curd, rumored to be haunted. Uh, the backstory there is Hempta the Seductive, one of the tribal leaders of Telosia, wishes to ascend to the throne, but she cannot do that until she is enthroned in the Tower of the Curd, the ancient and historic place of kings and queens, more queens than kings, uh, no misogyny in Telosia. Uh, the party has gone across the frontier land, which is the equivalent of the Western United States, and they've met a lot of people, I'll say, uh, and done a lot of things, and they have found themselves in the Tower of the Curd with a half uh, uh, 
centaur-ish lion s named tigerus uh upon her first job as guard duty she had the miraculous luck of finding daphne rolling assholes and elbows off of her mount down into the canyon uh they have gone ahead and forged forward made it up the narrow mesa uh, pathway and have found the tower of the curd at the top they have thus far examined two levels and taken a long rest after getting their shit pushed in. Uh, we rejoined them that morning, still barricaded in the map room. Uh, everybody wakes up refreshed. You guys feel awesome, except you're eating trail rations and shitty water that you've brought along. Uh, Tigris has some items uh, and she seems a little bit distracted today. You guys have barricaded yourself in the room. You have cleared level two of the tower. What would you like to do now? Uh, I do a wellness check on Tigress, see how she's doing. Give me an insight check. Okay. Uh, okay, 17 for insight. Uh, she's not physically ill uh mm -hmm. she does seem a little bit distracted i think being in the great tower of the curd has mm -hmm. her puzzled as to how her people could have fallen so far so long uh but she seems uh for lack of a better term melancholy oh <laughs> and steve gets to go to bed early that's that is not Steve. Uh, Tigress points out she is going to be fine. No need to worry about her. Uh, okay. Crack on, as as the Emu Clan would say, they're English. Uh, <laughs> so Tigress is ready to crack on. Uh, what do we do next, guys? Is what she asks. Uh, uh, I can for I. Uh, say so, yeah I, th I think we keep pushing on and yeah so well uh table talk we pretty much cleared the room and searched around for everything that we're gonna find yeah right? the, the mimic caused you a great deal of issues but you did kill the mimic uh daphne's newfound weapon uh, outside in the uh first chamber is beaten to death she found a lever that she was dying to pull last time she pulled it and faced uh, the group faced off with some animated skeletons fortunately daphne utilized it as a mace and beat the living crap out of uh, her opponents however that mace is now damaged and broken forever as is the lever uh, but you're pretty sure just noting your surroundings and re recalling the exterior of room one, you've uh, you've done everything you can on level two. Okay. All righty. Keeping in mind that the way up and down in the Tower of the Curd is located in the center. Okay. Not um, centaur. 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 Um, yeah, I propose that we make make our way to the center and keep going up that's um, it <laughs> did, we, did we take a long rest yes you did. yeah we did okay we got a full I was long like, rest. Oh, so refresh did they mean to do that yeah remember you guys uh after the mimic kicked the shit out of i believe camille you guys took okay. a long rest because it was night uh or going on night and uh, you guys had had an eventful day. Okay, cool. cool. Yeah, we did. Cool. <laughs> the green froggy moth caused you multiple issues, as did the dangerous climb, especially you, Daphne, who fell a couple of times. Falling. Pa paladins, paladins aren't climbers. It, Maybe yeah, it's a just trying to run in the massage, I don't know. I don't know. It might have been running in that armor. <laughs> you can't get a lot of. You can't get a lot of track. Oh yeah, that's right. You're you're in the fur bikini, aren't you? On top of my stuff. 
on top of your armor. It's okay. real weird. Are, are you still wearing the uh, fur G-string on your mouth? Maybe that's why I've been As falling. a COVID mask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> that's what's killing her. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you guys want to go back into room one where the broken lever is at and go upstairs, I take it? Uh, I. That's my vote. That's... Yeah, that's... as we do that, I'm like, yes, let's let's move on. Also, why do I still have this mask? <laughs> maybe, maybe why does it smell like the way it does it smells yeah. like oh it rock. smells so different now whoa this is how it's smelling in here instead of smelling <laughs> like crotch it smells like old tower okay who wants to go up the stairs first uh noting that tigress is a brand new adventure and she doesn't know yeah, she's shit. not going first <laughs> uh i guess i have the highest stealth out of us so Hmm. Um, yeah, probably me. <laughs> okay. Uh, Zadar will lead the party. Who wants to be second? Oh, all right. And then I will be last, and I will have uh, Tigress between front of me, whatever. Yeah, Very let good. them die. <laughs> we'll leave. <laughs> That's right. Uh, the third floor of the tower has black and white slate on the floors and no murals on the wall as Zadar reaches the top. Uh, the chamber indicates a Spartan appearance, even, ooh, almost gave that one away. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Secrets, uh, come on. The, the chamber uh, indicates a Spartan appearance, uh, meaning there aren't very many things in there. Magical globes of light that you have seen before in the tower continue to illuminate, uh, even though there is a heavy coating of dust upon them. One of the globes in the th- throne room which is directly in front of you, uh, appears to be broken. So Zadar, as you peek up, uh, you see a little bit of dim light to your left, a little bit of dim light to your right, and then ahead of you. Uh, as you land on this floor, you notice a raised daz in the back of the room and a gem-encrusted chair atop the slight rise. A cloak rack sits behind the throne and has a dark, unadorned robe on it. On either side of the throne is a 3D sculpture of the Talosian lands that jut out from the wall. Real classy, man. Uh, Age has not diminished the strength of the uh, bas-relief. So, uh, as you look upon level three, you can kind of see a door to your left, Zadar. You can kind of see a door to your right, Zadar. And directly ahead of you, on a raised daz with a gem encrusted throne and a coat rack for some unusual reason is directly ahead of you. For your cape. Gotta put your cape somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Superman's gonna hang his cape somewhere. Um, yeah. I, <laughs> I tell everybody uh, what I'm seeing and um, definitely point to the jewel encrusted throne and it's our chair i don't know if it's the truth (laughs) throne so but now do we have one more level after this there are at least four levels to the tower not including Mm -hmm. the roof the Mm -hmm. roof the roof the roof is on fire we're showing Uh, our age (laughs) from the outside uh this is what you saw Oh, okay. It's seen better days, uh, but you'll notice the little arrow slits uh, that allowed a little bit of ambient light in. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this, of course, juts all the way through. So there was an entrance on the far side, and you could look straight through it. So, uh, okay. A, a, a tower. Nothing noteworthy in particular about it. Yeah surrounded by dusty arid land so eh. well i guess we should probably should we investigate the throne first uh sure we can i mean it's not like those doors will (laughs) burst open and kill us undead skeletons come rushing out (laughs) well you see no lever here which is right thank god uh a gasp is heard from tigress as she finally lays eyes on it and she comments, it's the throne of the Kurd. 
cheese curd? That's literally what I was saying. <laughs> cheese. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, I've only been saying you're at the Tower of the Curd forever. I love cheese. And, like, for how many it's weeks now? <laughs> a tower made of cheese this whole time. We could just be in our way for everything. We're in Wisconsin, yeah. folks. That's right. Oh, sharp where cheddar. The, where the second Louvre is. Uh, who wants to approach the uh, throne, noting that it is slightly raised or slightly elevated, uh, uh, indicating a position of power? I'm going to do it and investigate, looking for traps on the way. Sure. Uh, it's especially the tiles on the floor. They, they are black and white, and they do look like a checkerboard. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, give me four investigation checks before you reach the elevated portion. Okay. For the first one, 11. <laughs> okay. It's, it's fine. That one. <laughs> it's fine. You'll be fine. You said there's a series of four I have to do? Okay. Oh, God. My roll, ah, my roll suck. <laughs> Suddenly. 13. Mm, that does suck. Yep. Oh, motherfucker. Wow. <laughs> oh. Uh, as you step on that tile, it shatters. Oh, okay. I the pull cracking my noise off. echoes throughout the tower. Okay. I uh, I mean, is there a fall through, or is there a, like a deadfall, or it just cracked? Just cracked the tile. Okay. And everybody hears. Oh shit. Number four. Okay, that's not good. That's. It's not going to deter me. I'm going for it. Tigress points out, did you guys hear that? Yes, we did, Tigress, with a 12. <laughs> uh, you reached the Boy, tower. all four sucked. Come here. <coughs> yeah, Steve. they did. Uh, you reached the tower, and what is he doing? I don't know. All right. <laughs> um, uh, you reach the throne, and even under the heavy coating of dust, you realize that these jagged and irregularly shaped gems are pretty pricey. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a there's quite a bit of worth here. You believe that Tigris is correct, Steve. and this might actually be the throne of the Kurd. Unfortunately, you again hear, and everybody, give me a perception check. Okay. Ha! Tigress got a three. 26 on that one this time. 19. <laughs> 17. Uh, Tigress's eyes are wide open looking at this uh, collection of gemstones. Everybody else sees the cloak behind the throne move and animate into what can best be described as a patchwork human being. Time for initiative, boys and girls. Oh, no. I thought it was going to be like the Invisible Man. Ever seen a shirt? Make a phone call? <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Twelve. Nine. Uh, Sixteen. Nobody wins but me. Ah, uh, let's see. Uh... As the figure approaches, the hood of the cloak drags back to reveal a rotting figure underneath the coarse fabric. The creature is actually a construct, and it brings out the guns. Uh, it is going to go after one, two, three, four is Tigris, one, Camille, three, Daphne. You guys are about to get punched. Uh, Camille, 14 plus 7, 21. 12 plus 7, 19 on Daphne. Both those connect? Oh, 19 to hit, yeah. Okay, here is the pain train, boys and girls. Four, three, seven, 
plus four, 11 hit points. Bam, bam. 11 the, each? Yep, as the flesh golem starts whomping your ass. Oh, Jesus. 16, Zadar, you're up next. Also, Tigress shrieks and may have crapped herself. <laughs> Poor Tigress. You're taking a first oh. level in here, man. <laughs> um, I want to do my hellish rebuke on him at least. Sure, go ahead. He decided to hit me like a jerk. All right. I make a so, save on that, don't I? Yeah, Dex 13 save. And I didn't get that. <laughs> so you get it. Full. 18 damage. That will that will sting. Okay, Zadar, you're up first. Okay, I'm gonna hex him. Okay. That's my bonus action. And then I'm gonna launch a crossbow bolt at him. Sure. All right. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Not with that roll. Ten. <laughs> that hits. Holy shit. Flesh golems are very low ace flash. flash golems are Golem. nine wow okay. they're easy to hit they aren't exactly easy to kill and sometimes they're not easy to dodge uh that's uh eight points of piercing damage okay uh moving on to 12 uh Camille. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry sorry uh since he's hexed he also gets a d6 uh but it's necrotic Oh shit! Oh, yeah. ain't gonna work on a flesh golem, huh? Nope. Ah, <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, Camille, you are up. You're spitting teeth. <laughs> I, I'm not hearing you on the stream. Where is he in relation to everybody else? He's right in the middle, man. Fuck. Um. Fuck. Ass. Yeah. <laughs> I think Boondocks. I'll cast Mage Armor on myself before I go any further. You nice. might want to. <laughs> nice choice. Do you want to take a bonus action and hit him in the dick with a staff? I would love to. Sure, go ahead. Okay. Mm, 14. Easily. And let's see. D6. Yep. Four. Very nice. Uh, nine beats a seven. Daphne, you're going before Tigress. Let's see if Tigress crapped herself. Yeah, she's fine. All right. Um, well, a mix and match body parts coming at you. Eh, that's enough to scare the shit out of anybody. <laughs> we said a nine to hit. A nine to hit. <laughs> an eight doesn't hit, but a 15 does. Wow. I tried. I tried. Six damage. Okay. Very nice. Uh, Tigerus. Ah! <laughs> Seven plus two. Wow. She fear strikes for five. Top of the order. Ah! Uh, uh. <laughs> He's going to the Winchester later. Uh, right. if, if you don't know that joke, you're too young. Uh, yeah. I two, know. Zadar. Uh -huh. Four, Tigerus. Going to split the attacks. Zadar. Oh. Uh, Uncanny dodge, so I half it. I, I don't think you're going to need it. 13? Uh, no, 13 does not hit me. Yeah, that was a shit roll. Uh, 10 plus 7 is 17. Tigerus takes one. Seven plus four. Eleven damage to Tigerus. Uh, you are up, Zadar. Uh, uh, constitution is my disadvantage that I'm calling on him. And uh, he'll have to make a con save of 15 at disadvantage. Sure. Uh, first one's 18. Uh, and 23, so 18 will beat it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm not that high of a spellcaster. <laughs> Is that it? Uh, my 
bonus action is uh yeah look for a shadow to hide in <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah uh camille i'm trying you're... to set up for something so <laughs> sure. camille uh, you're up i guess i will uh, go ahead you you see zadar start to move I guess I will try Ray of Frost. Sorry, I'm pulling a Kyle. <laughs> Why are we going to run three hours? A bird! <laughs> Two. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem to have affected him that much. Maybe because he has a shit ton of immunities. Daphne, rock the house. <clears throat> he has a bunch of immunities. How is he looking? Uh, 42 hit points down. Okay, I got a nat 20. So 25 oh, and 16. Nice. Damage, damage, modifier. <clears throat> 17 damage. Total, or was that just the one attack? Total, seventeen total. Well, that's that's not bad. That's up to fifty nine. Uh, <clears throat> after getting punched in the mouth and getting a bloody lip. Oh yeah, she brings the house with a nat sixteen. Ooh, murder hobo ink dies. Uh, boy, the flesh golem is leaving parts all over the floor. Uh, let's see. Uh, number one, Camille. Uh, number two, Zadar. Okay. Camille. Ugh, three plus seven, ten. Zadar. Five plus seven, twelve. Both misses. Swings ah. and misses on both. That was some shit rolling right there. Uh, Zadar, you're up. Okay, I'm going to burst from the shadow with uh, a flame blade. Okay. Uh, scimitar attack. Not, whoa, okay, 17 to hit. I was like, oh. <laughs> I'm so used to fighting something with a better AC. <laughs> yeah, it's the AC shit on this thing. Okay, uh, <laughs> the scimitar attack is 7 plus... Uh, seven plus seven and five fire damage. Twelve. And then the sneak attack's coming. Uh, let's see. <coughs> no, 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 no. <clears throat> Do I roll? I roll to hit on the sneak attack. Of course, it's been a while. So, mm -hmm. okay. Whew. One. Well, you're on the floor. If he goes after you next time, it's an advantage. Yeah. Uh, so that brings us to Camille. Camille, you can taste the salty blood in your mouth. Uh, you can see the anger welling up in your associates' faces, including Tigress, as she literally wants a piece of this guy's ass. And I suppose he's. St st I suppose he's still in the middle. Wow, that was a weird lag. Ah, uh, yes, uh, he is in the middle. Because now David is on the backside uh, in a doggy style position trying to kiss Flesh Golem's ass since he rolled oh, a on his sneak attack. Gross. Gross. If the Flesh Golem can fart, this will make the night. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, I guess. Do I get a oh, 20? Yeah, let me roll a 12 against you. <laughs> <laughs> I only got a 10, so he doesn't have any gas to Damn, pass. all my good stuff is not usable. Um, 
Well, next time, tell your associates to stand in line. Right? <laughs> uh, I guess I'll try Shocking Grasp. Sure, that'll work. 14. Mm -hmm. and that is. And <clears throat> 1d8. Two. Uh, str strangely enough, your electrical charge leaps from your fingers, and the exact spot where you hit the flesh golem is repaired. <laughs> uh. Daphne, you're up, as apparently Camille wants to heal this thing. What the hell does that mean? Means he uh, regenerates versus electricity. Electricity, yeah. It's Frankenstein. So he healed a bit? <clears throat> Two points. He's on the mend. Okay. <laughs> Get rid of that one. Well, yeah. Two points is an intense amount, I guess. Hey, remember with uh, Frankenstein. Fire bad! Fire so... bad. All right. 11 and 23 brings me to 12 damage. <clears throat> 12 damage is nice. Doesn't kill him. But nice. Uh, it's really tense. And Tigress spins her uh, spear around like she's in a Jackie Chan movie. Woohoo! 17 slashes across. Uh, you know what? If she gets a six on the die, I'll use a murder hoe, but uh, I'll have her cut off an arm. Nice. Nope, didn't. She got four, uh. though. Uh, that means final round. Uh, flesh golem, uh, villagers. Four, Tigerus. One, Camille. Oh, this thing does not like you. On Tigerus. Boom! On Camille. Ooh. Uh, Camille, as. Uh, <laughs> The flesh golem swings at you uh, with a mighty blow. He trips and lands on Zidar. <laughs> uh, Zidar, ass full of face. Oh, God. But much. Uh, unfortunately, Tiger is, is going to take a hit. <laughs> uh, Tiger is down. Uh -oh. oh no oh, oh no oh yeah the kool-aid oh, no. man crashes through the tower of the curd oh, shit. <laughs> uh new round zadar uh you're underneath this fat ass so good news he can't hit you at advantage but your grapple pulled so grapple off with a strength roll oh uh, geez yeah Oh, 18 plus 4. Uh, yeah, that ain't gonna work. Uh, <laughs> Zadar is pinned underneath, so careful, yeah. Camille and Daphne. Uh, Camille, you're up. Zadar is flailing. Ah! Ah! <laughs> no, he probably has a... He's got a face full of ass, so he can't say anything. <laughs> Erection. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, so I use my quarter staff like a bat to whack him in the head. Well, I'm a chick right now, so that ain't. It's true. Fifteen. Hits. And one d six. Come on. Three. Babe Ruth steps to the plate and knocks the flesh golem's head off. It had Uno hit point yes. left. Uh, the head goes over, uh, its innards, uh, ooze out all over Zadar. Daphne, oh, uh, sorry. You, can help, you can help Zadar up, or you can help the downed Tigress, who don't look so hot. I'm like, get, go for Tigress. <laughs> you know. uh, you're, you're on the ground, Daphne's up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, so he's dead, the flesh golem? Mm -hmm. Fishgull is dead. Uh, Camille took its head off. Okay. Yes, it has 93 hit points and she did three. <laughs> <laughs> I did a total of like 10. <laughs> and you healed it for two. Right. <laughs> uh, nice. Okay, I guess I helped Tyrus up. 
What does she uh, need doing? She she's unconscious, so if you've got a healing potion, you she's gotta gonna heal need her. it. <laughs> or it's a medicine check to stabilize her because she ain't at zero. <laughs> I think I still have a healing potion, don't I? I, I think everybody still has one. Can but you think... lay on hands on her? Right. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I can do that too. Whatever works. Six of one, half a dozen the other, your choice. Why? You're the heel bitch tonight. Yeah, I guess, I, I don't know. If I lay hands on her, it brings her back up from zero. Like, I don't have to do any checks. Correct. All right. I give her 10, 10 health points. She's at 10. <laughs> <laughs> That's her usual. <clears throat> uh, 20. <clears throat> yeah, she only gets half. That's fine. Uh, what the hell happened? Well, Zadar smells like ass now. And, and she's got a shiner. Uh, just oh, a big old shiner. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> Zadar, you can get out from your splooge machine. I uh, get out, man. Kick that fucker off of me and stand up. I mean, I'm in my outfit ooh, armor, and I just start casting prestidigitation everywhere. <laughs> uh, Tigress wants to know what the hell happened. Oh. You took a nap! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he took a nap. <laughs> Damn it, they're <laughs> weird. Where, where's that thing? It, it's, it's dead. It's in a puddle. Again. Turkey, yum. <laughs> he snapped into a slim gym. I say so. we take it and throw it out the window. Window, window. No, burn it. Window's small. <laughs> Damn, I was going to yeah, send let, a message. Let's, let's burn it in the middle of the tower. <laughs> yeah, with poor <laughs> ventilation. <laughs> What, uh, um, can I take the cloak? Or is it yeah, nasty? It's nasty. It's coarse fabric. Oh, all right. Never mind. Uh, you still have two doors, one on the left or one on the right. Or you can say fuck it and go up to the top level and find a BBG. Yeah, I don't think we need to do that right now. No, not at the moment. <laughs> <clears throat> Steve, you're uh, back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so. you got you got <laughs> left or right? Uh, to the left. I don't know. To the left, we'll go left. <laughs> I'm uh, watching tiles. <laughs> the chamber is dusty and smells of moldy parchment as you open the door. Glass windows protect the interior from the elements and have allowed the room to stay dry. It's pop bottle glass, if you're familiar with that. Several cubby holes hold a variety of maps and parchments. A large table in the center of the room shows a very old map of the nation and has a variety of scribblings on it. There is a door at the back of this room. Uh, to keep in perspective, the room where you killed the flesh golem was about a quarter of the size of the tower. The room you are in right now is slightly less, but not by much. Okay. <clears throat> so this floor will be in quarters. Okay. Um, I'm checking it out. Okay. What's um, everybody else doing? Oh, anything well, else to check out? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in here. I just scope out the room. Is there anything? That... Everybody roll a straight up D20. Yeah. Uh... Tiger's got a nine. Uh, Fifteen for Zadar. Eleven. Lucky eight. <laughs> uh, Zadar, you find a gray goose feather under a stack of papers that is in remarkable condition considering this place has been abandoned for so long. Huh. Uh, the rest of you and Zadar uh, uncover a variety of outlets of data for the Talosian nation pursuant to taxation, population, raw goods, exploration spots, and other mundane information. It's essentially the doomsday book for Talosia. Uh, and this weird gray goose feather. Hmm. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, I you cast Mage Hand and pick up the Goose Feather. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're like, okay. Uh, well, I'm just being careful. I mean, I stepped on a tile and activated a Flesh Comb, so... I, um... Uh, yeah, I, I check it out, but uh, I kind of remark on it that it's clean and, you know, looks... You know. there, there is no ink on the tip of its quill. Huh. Okay. And there's a door at the back of the chamber. Okay. Um, would you mind <clears throat> if I hold on to this? Anyone? Anyone? Yeah, you hold on to it. Okay, I go ahead and put it in my uh, satchel. Tigerus says, uh, only if it tickles your fancy. Oh my and I, I go. Ah! <laughs> Come on, so, that that is some that was serious a dad humor right that there. That was dad humor right there. She, she, uh, she that's that from her dad. shit right there, Twitter. That, that is quality shit. Yeah, that's writing. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll hold on to the feather. <laughs> and she she again touches her eye. Does this look bad right here? <laughs> just, just give it a little while. Yeah. And the spell, spell will work. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the door, or go out into the main room and go to the other door. Uh, I say <clears throat> check out the door. Who wants to go through first? Uh, I guess the thief will go through first. <laughs> Uh, this room encompasses a quarter of the level and appears to be the home of a poor person. A simple bed, a basic armoire, and a small writing desk are the main items present. A few books reside on the desk, but otherwise it appears to be a monk's alcove. Okay. Uh, and there's a door on the far side of the room. What okay. kind of are... books? Uh... Uh, the books uh, list the charge of affairs of the state. Uh, also, Camille, give me an insight check. Mm, Fifteen. You feel that you could take the neck piece off if you wanted. Neck piece? Yes. Oh, of mine? Yeah. The one that's seared into your body. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> I can take it off, but I can still keep it with me, right? You don't know. Okay, I'll take it off. Uh, Tigress looks at you. Booga booga, ooga booga. Ah, damn it. Booga ooga. Can I put it back on? <laughs> Are you going to answer me? Sorry for a minute. I was testing out my new radio. <laughs> uh, everybody give me an insight check. <clears throat> Seven. Uh, Nineteen. Fourteen. Daphne, Zadar, uh, the neck piece was owned by the previous Seneschal. This must be their office. Mm. <coughs> huh. So can I look at the book? Sure. When I look at it, do I notice anything unusual? Like, is anybody embezzling no, it money? to be a... <laughs> No, uh, actually, uh, as you do that, a slip of paper falls out. Uh, D12 against Tigris. 11. Seven. Uh, Tigris snaps it up and starts to hand it to you and goes. Can I see it? Sure. Uh, she hands it over and asks if there's another piece of paper in there. <clears throat> oh, what's on it? 
apparently uh, it is a scribbling pointing out uh, that the uh, Kurd was visited by a group of dignitaries just before the calamity as shown on the date on the parchment but it does not offer any explanation it just seems rather cryptic <clears throat> does it specify what dignitaries and where they were from no that part seems to have been uh cut away that's why she's asking if the if there's another piece well in the let's book. open up the book and take a look <laughs> nope and you've damaged the spine on the book for your careless nature i didn't say i just went <clears throat> it was assumed okay so uh, there there is no other scrap of paper so is there anything <clears throat> in the armoire uh musky clothes uh fit for a female i.e the ghost that you guys dealt with anything but really, else no she lived a spartan existence there's a few uh ink wells that are dried a few candles uh, a few sheaves of parchment uh but really no treasure no nothing anything under the mattress <clears throat> uh Porn. nope Nope. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. And, and the, the, the bed is really <laughs> crappy. Well, and this like, was the Seneschal's thing. I thought that was a position of authority or prestige among the the Kurds. <clears throat> it is. I mean, every other Seneschal you've ever heard about uh, was pretty much the man behind the curtain. Okay. Maybe they abuse their seneschal. You met her. <clears throat> you met the last seneschal. She was friendly enough to donate her neck piece to you. But yeah, that's really puzzling. I mean, it mm. looks it looks like an aesthetics place, like it's a monk's room. There's really nothing here. Okay. All right. I guess we move on. Necklace on the bed. Put the necklace on. No, I'm keeping it. <laughs> Is that uh, like an urn or something? Or jars? There's probably a chamber pot there. Ew. You're welcome to that. <laughs> <laughs> Petrified poo. Mm. You clean it. I you, that. You, you throw it on uh, adventures as they pass underneath you. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no. Judging from the size of this room, uh, you have probably explored three quarters of this level. Okay. Um, so I guess we move to <coughs> across the, the main entrance to the other door? There is a door in this room still. Oh, there is a door in this room still. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll, I'll move ahead to to check that door. Uh, this room has a curved table and four chairs made of dark wood. The walls consist of dark beams and white plaster, a.k.a. Tudor style. A crystal water pitcher and four glasses sit in the center of the table. The room is lit by a single globe of magical light. Uh, the only other thing in this room is a door leading out on the other side. Okay. Uh, there, there's no un inexplicable liquid or whatever <clears throat> in the pic picture or the crystal. No. 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 Uh, the uh, the room has no ornamentation uh, except for the crystal pitcher and four crystal goblets. Okay. So table and four chairs. <clears throat> Curved table. Yeah. yeah. Um, I will. I will take an Arcana check by everybody. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Fifteen. Seventeen. Uh, fourteen. Camille, you've seen something like this, but you can't remember where. Referring to this as the table. The light. The, the general layout. Uh, Tigris got a seven. Mm. How are you feeling, Tigris? 
Uh, cut it's me, looking Mick. better. Cut, cut me, Mick. Cut me. It's looking better. <laughs> He'll be fine. I sure could use some water. Um. Does the and... pitcher magically fill with water <laughs> if you pour from it? Damn. You want to pour? That would have been. You're so the yes. seneschal, so try it. <laughs> yeah, I'll try it. No. I say, Tigress, why don't you try to pour the pitcher and just, 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 you know, for my entertainment, just to see. Huh. Uh, you want me to fill the glass? Try to. A stream of water comes out of the pitcher and goes into one of the goblets. Wow. She looks at it. Kind of looks at you guys. Take a drink. You're thirsty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what if it's poison? It's not going to be poisoned. <laughs> well, we do have a paladin with us. Oh. <laughs> water okay you know I could have summoned omen <laughs> I just realized that yeah a little late now would you yeah. guys like a glass of cold refreshing water oh yes that would be nice thank you I'm gonna fill summon the glass, omen fill the glass fill the glass I'm gonna summon omen just in case. So, so she doesn't boom, my have to touch the pitcher, up. or she has to touch the pitcher. She does not have to touch the pitcher. Okay. okay. I I take a goblet, hold it to omen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm gonna poison that thing. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, react to it. Daphne and Camille, are you drinking too? Yeah. Sure. This time I don't take purified food on it. <laughs> Daphne, Camille, See. and Omen enjoy a cool, refreshing glass of water. <laughs> I'm not above sharing with my pet, so. <laughs> so, can she do anything with the light? Like what? Turn it on, turn it off. Uh, it's on right now. Right. I was like, you just someone will buy a light switch. Like, you just turn it on and off. That's one thing I, <laughs> I'm curious about. Are the lights coming on as we're we're approaching? As we're uh, can't, working? can't can't tell because there's no light coming out from underneath the doors. Oh, okay, okay. So, I, I was just cur curious if the pitcher reacted to Tigress. I was wondering if anything else in the tower was reacting to her so so far like, no like lighting drift just, globes like, pick her up like she's a um, metal detector and just move her around tower of the curb built by GE we bring the yeah. light <laughs> uh, no Start. when you guys enter the rooms the lights are on except for the broken ones okay alright well uh, uh, Tigress guzzles down another glass of water Kind of puts it against her eye, cool it off a little bit. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> wow. Uh, do we want to leave this here and check it when we come back after we've checked everything? Mm, probably. Okay. Now uh, I'll enjoy the rest of the the water. So. Sure. Tastes like almond spit. Yeah. Backwash. Well, right. He's oh, Faye oh, anyway, so... He's a dirty bastard. Bastardo. Dirty <laughs> Faye water. Ew. Right. Yeah. Who wants that? It's Faygo. There we go. <laughs> yeah, nice. Uh, leave the door you came in or leave the other door? Uh, the other door. Uh, the other door puts you into the throne room with the gem-encrusted throne and the headless flesh golem. Okay. Uh, so are we seeing the whole floor? Or it would appear level. so. Pretty much, yeah. Doesn't appear any to be any secret doors in this place. Okay, I I go investigate the throne. Take a look at that. Sure. Put the necklace yeah. on a throne. No. 
It's mine. <laughs> she starts acting I like Gollum. The <laughs> precious. Yeah. Uh, you look your hair. Weird. <laughs> and do you want to sit on the throne, Zadar? Uh, can I check it for traps or any kind of devices? Yeah, sure. like hinge or anything? No, so. it looks like it's stone and it looks like a lot of butts have sat in it because it's kind of got grooves in it. Okay. Is there now, a is it for testicles? No. Okay. Oh, okay. Remember, most of the Kurds were female. That's true. Uh, the other thing I want to notice is the throne itself covered in dust. Mm hmm. It is. Okay. Okay. Dust and irregularly shaped gemstones. Okay. I uh <laughs> I touch the the throne and and if it doesn't react to me, I ask Tigress if she mind touching the throne. So you're both touching the throne at the same time? Uh-huh. And Everyone's touching it, I guess, right? We're touching it. <laughs> it's like Trump. Everybody just touches it. And oh, it, no. And it no. lies to you. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, everybody touches the throne? Yeah. No it's reactions. Cool, cool to the touch. Okay. Uh, the irregular gemstones feel rough, not smooth against your fingertips. Okay. okay. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Um... Yeah, I guess if there's nothing further to check here, then um, did you guys want to take a short rest? <laughs> yes, I was going to suggest that. In okay. the chair? Anybody want to sit in the chair? Anybody? I'm going to sit in the chair. Very good. Two hit points of electrical damage to your ass. <laughs> nice. I mean, that chair is electrifying. It's electrifying. How about uh, Tigress? I want her to sit in the chair. Yeah. The paladin in me. Nothing. Uh, now, keep in mind, she is part centaurish. She's yeah, so she's got to back off. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, she she doesn't exactly fit real well, but she notices nothing unusual about it. Nothing. Her. Okay. Doesn't shock her. Yeah. All right. I sit in the chair. Give me a perception check. Ooh, 21. D6. That's not necessarily bad. Two. Everything Zadar is thinking is in your head. Oh. Oh my. You, <laughs> you can feel a warming of your Seneschal neck piece. But Zadar is like, that tasted like almond spit. Yeah. <laughs> but you can you can hear him plain as day. His lips aren't moving. He's not saying a word, but you can read his mind. Uh, I'm, I'm like commenting on my armor and my clothes. It's just like, oh, that stain, those stains are never going to come out. <laughs> and there is no electricity coursing through your butt. Well, that's a plus. Okay, so I say, uh, guys, or Sadar, were you just comment or thinking about Omen Spit? Among other things. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> all of a sudden I can hear everything that's in your head. Oh, yeah? What am I thinking now? She tells you. Uh, I'm, like, commenting about uh, Daphne's fur bikini. <laughs> it's just like, hey, you know. No, no, no. I'm saying. It stinks. <laughs> yeah. Probably stinks. So, did she hear that? <laughs> mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Do you, I, do you want to focus in on anybody else? Yes. Who do you want to focus in on now? Tigress. That chafed me when I sat down. I don't know why these people wanted me to sit on that throne. <laughs> Clearly, I'm too large for it. Man, does my face hurt. Did somebody hit me? Man, that really hurts. And you know what? My puffy cheeks are are not helping me at all. Oh, oh no. no. God. 
That is Tigerus. That is awful. Okay, so uh, yeah, plain as day. You can hear it. I wonder if this has something to do with the Seneschal. She did feel it tingle. Uh huh. Okay, I say just for shits and giggles, I try to sit in it. <laughs> Four points. hit points. <laughs> God damn it, I get a shock. <laughs> it, it is a li uh, lightning damage, right? It's electrical. Yeah. yeah. Maybe okay. it's just. Oh no. Well. Maybe it's a charging station for the flesh golem. <laughs> Could be. You know, it's like the thing that you put your iPhone down on. Yeah, <laughs> the charging <Very> pad. <laughs> uh -oh. So, there you go. Um, whatever reason, uh, and you guys are starting to put it together, wearing the neck brooch makes her the Seneschal. And right. Ergo, fine. Uh, Tigerus is Ebu, so... Yeah. You know. Man, she's, she's fine. You two are not the Seneschal, not Emu, uh, and each of you took some damage. So, short rest? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, Tigris is going to use a hit die. Well, how about that? Yeah. She yeah. feels very much more refreshed. Uh, yeah, Zadar is going to gonna roll one too yeah and i get get all my hit points back <laughs> daphne how you doing uh how you doing how you doing i'm gonna i guess i wish i got more stuff back for a short rest wish in one hand in the other. <laughs> <laughs> See which ones pile up first. That's right. Are you going to take a hit die back to recover I did, points? Yeah. Not that I'm fully healed, but at least I'm healed a bit. Me? Yeah. Sure. Okay. You're fully healed, Mm-hmm. I am. And Tigress is? Uh, Tigress is just down one. She rolls a d12. She's a barbarian. Oh, wow. Because she has an outlander. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I'm just trying to think about the whole throne reacting thing. So, to Camille. So. It is a mystery, Scoob. Yeah, it is. I mean, why would the Seneschal's thing react to a throne? I mean, a Seneschal is, like you said, the person behind the throne, you know? So that, that seems like an incredible power to have. Mm -hmm. you know? But then again, in diplomacy, that would be ideal. Yep. So Well, and the Seneschal would act in place of the lord of the manor i was gonna say that like they 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 meet everybody first before the monarch would okay yeah. okay yeah okay now it's making sense so so yes you, your problem solving has led you to the correct answer okay okay so i relay this to them <laughs> so tigress <laughs> she's just because because you two still don't speak her language only Camille yeah. does yeah I relay it to her yeah she's still unimpressed she doesn't give a shit okay <laughs> she's a barbarian she don't care <laughs> so that's it for the third level okay um yeah I, I mean I mean if we're refreshed <laughs> As refreshed as you can be. Do you want to press on? Crack on. Yeah. <laughs> I say fuck this place. Let's go see the elves. Yeah. <laughs> We're done. We all almost right. made it. 
Uh, same batting order, I assume, going up the stairs? Yeah, the thief will go first, being stealthy. Again, the interior of the stairwell is covered in uh, murals of prior curds. As you reach the top of the next floor, uh, uh, you can tell, Zadar, that it is lavishly furnished. Uh, the furniture has a thick coating of dust on it because it's been a while, but the quality is quite evident. This is a uh, top drawer, if you will. Uh, the floor appears to be made out of red marble carved out in diamonds shapes. Mm. Uh, the dust hides it, but you can tell through the dust. Uh, along the walls, both interior and exterior, are alcoves, uh, and they all have statues in them. Several alcoves will be open. Some will have damaged statues in them. All of the magic globes that offer illumination appear to be broken on this level. Uh, as you look, this spits out into a large, maybe half the floor. Uh, you've reached the landing on the fourth floor and you discover opulent furnishings and beautiful features on this level. The statues of prior curds stand in alcoves at irregular intervals. Across the way from the entrance is a silver throne with a skeleton slumped over the arm of the throne. The deceased wears a brown robe with gold piping and a jeweled crown sits atop the hairless skull. Golden rings adorn each finger of the corpse. Don't touch it. I'm not falling for that. Um, I kind of make contact with Omen using the Tresum's ability to see hidden, to mm -hmm. see if there's any hidden doors or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Not as far as I can see. OK. Yeah. Can I, should I do like detect magic? You've got that ability? <laughs> yes! We went over this last time. I have that too. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. um, oh, that's right. I forgot that's what this was. Uh-oh, that's never good. <laughs> oh, that's right. I was going to hit you with this. Uh... Two of the rings glow blue, Daphne, one on each hand. Okay. Uh, she should be able to detect School of Magic. Do what? What kind of magic? I Not specifically the spell, but you'll know the school that it... I think it's evocation, if unless I'm mistaken. Or it could be... Yeah, I think it's evocation. For both. I okay. say that to you guys. <laughs> this is like, well, do you relay that to us? Yeah. So okay. looking at the skeleton, can we determine how the person died? They Not without closer investigation. They just wasted away here on the throne. Mm -hmm. I, I, I turned to Camille. I said... Finished. Everything has been reacting to you so far. <laughs> I mean, no, as far as... Camille, like, we plump... need you to take the first hit. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was going to go with her, but it's just like, I want to see if that necklace reacts anything on the throne. And I say, you're the necromancer. That does not look safe. <laughs> I need you to check the oil and the tire pressure as you go underneath the bus. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. No, I, and it's just like, no, I am next to her. So, I mean, if anything, I'll use my reaction to get her out the way. <laughs> now, let's see if you guys have learned anything. Daphne, what are you going to be doing? Watching them. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Tigress will go uh, with... Hide in the corner. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's her in a corner. She's going to hang out with Daphne uh, and say, yeah, good plan. 
I'm checking for traps and all that as we're going. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and give me three because these are large red marble diamonds. Yeah, yeah. Investigation checks, right? Yep. So I can animate dead. Mother God, ten. Another one? Oh, okay. No, but still, it's just like my rolls are shit. Nineteen on that one. Second okay. one. Okay, third is you said three total, right? Mm -hmm. Do I need to do that too? Uh, 24. Uh, as you scuff away the dust looking for traps, you notice that this floor is the shit. I mean, it would impress dwarves. This stuff is nice. Am I seeing any kind of emblems or anything like that? Like, recessed <laughs> in the floor? Gold piping uh, masks the edge pieces. The, the seams? Wow. Okay. It's nice. Uh, this, uh, this, this might be the curd. Okay. Because obviously old curd, old curd, empty curd, old curd. Uh, over to the left, there's an open archway. Uh, over to the right, there's a doorway. Okay. So yeah. the last curd didn't get a statue. There are several open alcoves, so apparently they thought that the Dominion would continue on for several lineages. So like a thousand year Reich. Sure. Yeah, they they all look like Adolf. <laughs> you had to use that. <laughs> had to use that word. Huh? Adolf and Mrs. Adolf. Right. It, there's a lot of Eva Braun statues in those alcoves. <laughs> Any scorch marks? <laughs> So I guess we need to go through the... Well, no, we're going to go up to the throne. Mm -hmm. See what I'd will. I, only if you want to do this. Oh, so that's fine. It's a risk. Okay. So I'm with you. So. All right. I'll be out front, like, of her. And I approach into the, the, the throne. <clears throat> Everybody roll initiative. I freaking knew it. I, I just want to see who goes. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen. Five. Wow. <laughs> Tiger's got a four. <laughs> Her and I. This is how we're buddies. This is why. Is Zadar and. Camille. Bob and weave <laughs> up. <laughs> That's right. Make the approach. The figure is just slumped over. Uh, you can't even really tell if it was a male or a female because the outfit is just so vague. Uh, the, the rings have dust under them. It's all skeletal. I mean, there's no mm -hmm. flesh on this thing at all. But this thing animates... <laughs> It's just sitting there, and you guys go up to it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I reach out and touch it. Very good. Uh, I'm a necromancer, <laughs> so... Uh, I knew he was uh, waiting for it. <laughs> you can you always make friends. <laughs> so. you, you hear click, 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 click as the vertebrae moves, and the creature targets... Hold my D4. Right. Who? Zidar. Mm -hmm. Intelligence save. Okay. Uh, 17. D8. Okay. Five. <clears throat> You are one level down in the room with the pitcher. Holy crap. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, Camille, you're like, uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> that leads us to... So it teleported me down to the next level? It did. Wow. And you've got the 16. Wow. Well, that takes me out of the initiative. <laughs> so I touched it so. and he went down. Mm -hmm. For some reason, my camera's acting weird. Okay. So. 
Azdar? Uh, oh, uh, I thought you'd be like, I disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, bitches. Zadar, <laughs> uh, you know where you're at. So. Okay. There you yeah. go. Okay. Okay. God, my camera's messing up. All right. Good uh, news is you landed on level three. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to make my way back to the throne room. Sure. Or at least uh, attempt to. 15. Miss Touchy, what do you want to do? This thing's clearly alive ish. So, did anything happen to me? No. It targeted 50 50 and it came up even. <clears throat> so, you said the rings are just hanging there. They're on the fingers. Right. So, if I grab the wrist and shake them, do they fall off? You want to grab the wrist? Well, I've already touched it. <clears throat> sure. Okay. Uh, you grab the wrist and give him a shake. Mm-hmm. Not like <laughs> that. Like a shake uh, <laughs> Daphne, you're up. All right. I... I can't reach Zadar if anything, right? You have no idea where Zadar is. No, I'm I'm gone. <clears throat> He could be back in Cacophony for all we know. Actually, this son of a bitch can uh, teleport quite far. <laughs> yeah, it probably really? could have teleported me out of Telosia. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the bottom of the mesa, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> My domicile. That's right. What do you want to do, Daphne? All right. I, sorry. Debating. Tigress is going to throw her spear. She better not roll a one. Oh, no. no, no. <laughs> I'm going to cast Channel Divinity. And... <clears throat> We're going to fight it, right? We're not trying to leave it. It's up to you guys. <laughs> uh, we're not trying to fight yeah. at this point. We're just apparently trying... Camille's just trying to jerk it off. <laughs> yeah, well, I just want the rings. Do I do turn the unholy as long as we don't attack it and can escape in a minute? I can't do anything. <clears throat> it's up or... to you. <laughs> okay. It's undead, right? Mm-hmm. Looks yeah. undead. Don't let Steve get that. I just do my sacred weapon? What? Steve's in bed now. Mm. Thank God. So what do you want to do, Daphne? I <laughs> Well, that's never a good sign. I know. Well, I don't know. Like, is this thing going to kill us? Are we just screwed? Or do we actually try to fight it? Like he's going to tell us. No, I'm oh, I, I'm not there. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All Grab the crown. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Makes me give adventure time. Daphne, uh, Tigress is we back. She's throwing her spear. All right. I guess I'll do my sacred weapon. Sure. And what's that do? It adds plus two to attack rolls, and then there's a bright light coming from me, basically. Nice. <clears throat> do you get an attack this round, or is that your action? I don't know. Does that count as an action when I cast it? Yes. Ah, oh, thank God. My camera's back. <laughs> Why can I click it? Then, yeah, just as one action. Fair enough. Fook. <laughs> She's throwing, baby. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it goes right over the shoulder of Camille and misses the skull by inches and embeds itself into the throne hmm. with a three. Uh, New round. Oh, first off, uh, when you shook the arm, uh, did you shake the left arm or the right arm? 
Whichever one had rings on it. Uh, ten rings, ten fingers. Oh, but which ones were glowing? Uh, Daphne didn't tell you. Well, crap. Oh, shit. I thought I did. No, you didn't. D- D- D12 against me, Daphne. Let's see if you did. I just said what the <laughs> magic was, I guess. 12. Is that what happened? <laughs> yeah, I think you just said that there's some magic there. Okay, so... I would have gone up and grabbed the left hand. <laughs> okay, give, give me a uh, d10 roll. Let's see, do I have one of those out here? Do you want me to roll? A D10? Yes, please. (laughs) Son of a bitch. Uh, Okay, one of the rings has fallen. I pick it up. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, New round, since you're the one fucking around with its claw, it's going to hit you with advantage. Uh, 17 and a 5. Plus seven, twenty-four. Uh, Camille gets raked across the face. Ooh, oh, for twelve hit points. Slash as the claws carve into your face. Uh, but you have the ring in your hand. Uh, Zadar, <laughs> I'm doing the air call run. <laughs> you, uh, you can hear the screaming and yelling. You will be there next round. Yeah. Uh, Camille, after getting scarred up, uh, what do you want to do? So, it's the skeleton that did that to me. Oh, yeah. Is it doing anything else at this point? It it's only gets one attack. And you know what? I'll even say uh, it cackles out. Be gone, Seneschal. I cast web on it. Mm, Very nice. Uh, Camille shoots out white stringy strands of web and it passes right through the body. Ah, goddammit. And the creature cackles again. Uh, Daphne, you're up. Yeah, if you thought the... uh, Flesh Golem had a lot of immunities. <laughs> so I just attack it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I guess it's okay. A 11 and why can't I do this math? 7, 8, 18? 11, 18, 18. 8, 18 hits. Damage. Now, does your spell do any extra damage? Uh, just for the attack. Besides having a bright freaking light. <clears throat> That's fair. Uh, that will work in your favor. With positive energy also. It's a fuse of positive energy. <laughs> uh, Tigress whips out a club. 14 uh, plus 2 easily hits her. Uh, cracks the skeletal thing in the face. Yay, Tigress. Murder Hobo Inc. rules. That's a six. Uh, top of the order. Uh, the bright light is affecting this creature. Uh, it has the opportunity to go after Camille or Tigress. Uh, odd even. Six even. It goes after Tigress. Uh, 10 plus 7, 17. It connects and it slashes her across the face as well. Ah, uh, for 9. Ooh, boom. Uh, Zadar. <laughs> You're going to attack <laughs> last this round. <laughs> Cardio. <laughs> um... It's a lot of stairs. Uh, Camille, you're up. My Fitbit. Uh. Everybody says, oh, 
Thanks for coming back. Dick. <laughs> um. So where is it in relation to the rest of us? It's on the throne, sitting directly in front of you. Tigris is to your right. Daphne is to your left. <clears throat> Wait for Zadar to try and sneak attack from behind and then cast your big spells. Yeah, right. <laughs> Knock him out the tower. That would suck. I'm going to say knock you out. I was um, just listening to that. <laughs> but your web spell had no effect. How about Thunder Wave? <clears throat> okay, go ahead. There you go. Do I get a save on that one? That's a 14 and I 14 will hit. Can't the card is really tiny i'm pulling it up not fender wave dumbass <laughs> fender wave <laughs> evocation level one saving throw con uh i'm gonna save that one because that's 16 Plus two, 18. Uh, so I will not be pushed back 10 feet, thank God. Otherwise, I would have been shot out of the tower. Uh, give me 2d8, and I'm taking half. And you're going to knock over the throne. <laughs> and everybody's death. Eight. Uh, <clears throat> Is that halved or? That's halved. Ooh, that's kind of painful. Uh, Daphne, your turn! <laughs> a, a thunderous boom uh, knocks dirt and dust from the rafters and echoes around. Uh, several of the curved statues have been pushed and are broken. This place just got real. That's All us. Right. We wreck shit. <laughs> Because they're a wrecking ball. <clears throat> Miley wow. Cyrus ain't got nothing on you. A one? Well, six. <laughs> Seven, eight. It would be eight. And then 14. 14 hits. Nice. I'm just not. So you're blind because of the white light. You're oh. deaf from the boom. There's dust and debris everywhere. Five damage. Better than Not nothing. <clears throat> Boom! Uh, nat 20. Eh, not so good. Uh, <laughs> seven as Tigris pops that thing right in the face. Zidar! <laughs> 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 You're up. Nice. All right. Uh, uh, the the ladies have a line. So you're the quarterback. They're the mm -hmm. front line. And the crypt thing is the other side. Uh, Camille is not behind this thing, is she? Nobody is behind it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and the throne is overturned from the sonic boom. Do, is the skeleton partially or whatever hidden or something now because of the throne? No, it's uh, it's on the other side of the three warriors. Okay. Oh. Three warriors? <laughs> Daphne, Tigris, and... Uh, uh, oh, okay, Kira. I gotcha. <laughs> I thought suddenly three, oh, three warriors and so, the throne. <laughs> so... From, from your angle, this is what you're seeing. Yeah. Oh, God. This so you have no real worse. clear line of sight. Oh, this couldn't get any worse. Uh, well, it can always get worse. Well, yeah. I was say, uh, is that a challenge? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what? 
I'm going to use Mage Hand and reach out and try to snatch that crown off its head. I'm going to try. Sure. I mean, I've got anything else is going to involve me knocking them out of the way or whatever, and that'll take my whole action. D12 against me. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. 12. Second oh, time in a row. Shit. It's no. on there. Uh, the crypt thing Two. looks at you guys and says, Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh, one, two, three, four, tigers, five, six, five. That one. Tigress is gone. Oh, damn. Uh, Zidar, you now have an opening. You are number two. Okay. Uh, see where she's at. <laughs> Where'd she go? You don't know. Hopefully she's back home with her dad. <clears throat> okay. Darkness, my old friend. So, so I'm up in the next action, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my movement and I'm gonna try to make a, a scimitar attack. Sure. Aiming for a neck. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Uh, for 17 to hit. Easily. Okay, and it's a flaming blade, so, uh... Nine. I'll need, I'll need the damage split. Okay. Uh, let's see. Nine, and I uh, gotta roll the d8. Sorry. Uh, so thirteen. How are you gonna split that? Nine and thirteen. Uh, no, thirteen total points. So, so the damage from the green flame was five. Four. Four. Got it. Okay, uh, Daphne, you're up. How oh, is he looking? <laughs> well, he's already skeletal, so, you know, hard to It say. is a skeleton Ken look. <laughs> yeah. And Camille, you missed it earlier, your uh, thunder wave caused a significant amount of damage to the Kurd statues. <clears throat> what was it, Daphne? 16 and 18 both hit. Yep, 16 and 18 both hit. 12 damage. Ouch. Uh, no tigress. Uh, there's three of you. She's going to try the stooge slap again <laughs> on six, Daphne. 12 plus seven, 19. Hits. You, eh, that's not bad. Eight hit points of damage which, as you are slashed. Uh, Zadar, you're up. Hmm. Okay, uh, I'm going to make another... Oh, oh, hold on. Did I skip Camille last time? I think so. You oh, sure you? did. Yeah, I I fucked that up. Uh, Camille, what did you want to do on that turn? Because clearly you aren't going to kill that thing. Mm. My staff. Hit. Maybe. Be positive. <laughs> one. Uh, D6, one, two, you, three, four, Zadar, five, six, Daphne. Four. Uh, Z Zadar. So roll your D6 and let's cut it in half. <clears throat> oh, Lord. <laughs> well, I got a one. <laughs> So one hit point of damage, Zadar, as you pop in when she least expected it. Uh, new round, she slap or the crypt thing has slapped Daphne. Zadar, you're up. Okay. Uh, again, uh, and another uh, blade attack against it. Sure. 
hate it that I don't have a bludgeoning <clears throat> weapon. Uh, 24 to hit. Yep. <laughs> uh, six and six points uh, slashing damage and four points fire damage. Daphne. All right. Gotta die then. Twenty-two and twenty-six. Both hit. Fifteen damage. Ouch. <laughs> A thunderous crash is heard. Everybody perception check. Not like maybe One. it is. <laughs> what was yours, Daphne? Four. Twenty-one. Everybody but Zadar uh, was deafened. Uh, Zadar, you hear a loud crash behind you. Tigris has fallen through the roof. Uh, it's the creature's time again to do the huge slap. So Tigris is in the room. She came in through the roof, right? <laughs> Correct. As you turn around and you turn back, here comes the claw slap. Oh, to me? Damn it. Yep. 19 plus 7 is 26. You have been bitch slapped for ooh, 12. That hurts. <laughs> uh, and it's your turn to bitch slap her back. Okay. Uh, which I'm definitely going to do. <laughs> Both hands this time. Uh, let's see. Uh, 27 to hit. Uh, hits. Uh, six piercing. Uh, four flame, and I'm going to make the offhand attack. Nope. nope. Uh, bones scatter everywhere, oh. as do the rings and the crown. Uh, Tigris, uh, if you've seen the movie 1941, spits out plaster. <laughs> oh. That was fun. I've not seen yeah. that movie. Oh, I, I, that's I, a funny I basically scene. watch it. Oh, it's okay. when the it's when the bed falls <laughs> when he shoots the cannon and the second oh, story oh, falls okay. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whew, that was fun. Let's do that again. Uh, the creature is dead. Uh, Tigerus limps over to you guys and apologizes. No, no, For don't what? apologize. We're, I we're... left battle. You didn't have a choice. <laughs> I said it uh, happened to me too. I was lucky though. <laughs> Daphne, uh, your spell is probably still in effect. You notice, <coughs> excuse me, you notice that on the floor only one of the rings is glowing, along with the other eight. I think the glowy ring. Do you know what that signifies? Me. Camille has the other magic ring. Do we put them together? No, they are not Wonder Twin Powers. I was gonna say <laughs> either that or lantern rings. <laughs> no, there there were ten rings. You noticed two of them were glowing. After the battle, only one was glowing because Camille took the ring of protection, dropping my fucking AC. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sucked ass. Uh, that one hurt. Uh, there. There are eight rings that are expensive, Very yeah, uh, and a crown. Now, okay. keeping in mind, somebody's probably going to want this crown. Yeah. 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 We still need to take control of it. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Tigerus picks up the throne. It's a stone throne, uh, very heavy, but she picks it up rather lightly. Puts it back on there and looks around. Uh, you guys pretty much trashed the first room of the top floor. Uh, from where you are at, open alcove to the right, formerly your left, and a door to your left, formerly your right. Dead ahead is the staircase down. 
Uh, everybody, perception check. Oh, God. Nineteen. Seventeen. Twelve. All of you realize that the spot where Tigris fell through was a trap door and there are iron rungs set in the interior wall, ergo the rooftop. Mm. Hmm. Uh, and it is over by the area with the wooden door. So you have open alcove, door. Okay. <clears throat> um, where do you want to go next? <laughs> And how many more layers do we have of this tower? Just the roof. Oh. Okay. Do we want to go to the roof or do we not care? Tigers can tell you that it offers a spectacular view, but that's it. Mm -hmm. How would she hey. know? That's where she was teleported to. Till she fell through the chopper. Um question. The 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 throne didn't glow itself when they cast Detect Magic. Huh? Did not. Okay. Hmm. Well, I think it's time we get a long rest at some point. Maybe. This floor has not yet been cleared. So, yeah. Let's... It's not a mimic. <laughs> um, I... We can at least check the alcove. That's the closest thing to us, right? Okay. Everybody uh, I'll, I'll make my way there. Everybody roll D12. Ten. Um, Twelve. Four. <clears throat> Uh, Camille, you notice there is an open book on a table. It is titled Diary of Gretic, Curd of Telosia. Uh, Zadar, you find another book on alchemy. Okay. And it appears to explain how to use a herb Peaches to... And herb to create a healing potion. Daphne, <clears throat> you discover a knickknack on a shelf. It is an obsidian fly. And etched on the bottom of it is a word. Can I say the word? You can try. Give me a performance check. You can do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You say the word quiche, K-I-C-H-E, and the statue immediately begins to grow into the size of a small pony as a fly. <gasps> I got a fly mount? It is a fly mount. <gasps> what the hell is that? It is essentially a small statue. A chew that it she... will grow. Yeah. So, and is this thing's animated? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, you don't know it yet, but it was used as the personal mount of the curve. Wow, that is awesome. Uh, How many more, people can it hold? It can hold uh, a small creature and travel at 36, a medium creature at 24, or a large creature at 12. It can be used three times a week for 12 hours at a time. So you have 36 hours of flying time per week. At the expiration of the time, the mount will begin to shrink and slowly make its way to the ground. So it will not change suddenly and plummet to the ground. Okay. Uh, but it will be unable to be used for a certain amount of time. Uh, Camille, your role garnered you the diary of the last curd. Would you like to read it? Of course. D12 against me for the plot determination. Ha ha! 
12. <clears throat> the basic interpretation is that Gretik points out that the members of the Judah clan have suggested integration with a much larger world and has brought a gift from the outsiders. Gretik took the item, but flatly refused the request of foreigners on Talosian soil. It notes that the Judah clan has requested he not open the gift for a single day and continues that the insolence has irritated him so much that he is going to open it now. And that is the last entry of the diary. Wow. So we figured out well, what an asshole. Kind of what happened. Um, so Judah clan, is that... Uh, Hemptera the seductive. Wow. Okay. Who has yet again brought foreigners into the Talosian soil. Yeah. You hear so, Tigeris complain that her back hurts. Oh. Well, I can't really bolt her for that. <clears throat> what do you guys want to do? Well, at this um, point, I think we need to hunker down. Uh, to let you know, <clears throat> since it would be obvious to you, the front room took about half of the tower. Mm -hmm. the, the alcove that you're in now takes up about a quarter of the tower. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, you said that there's a door that we didn't explore. Yep. As you came into the room, it would have been on your right. Looking at yep. it from the throne, it would have been on the left. Okay, we're gonna. Uh, I'll I'll make my way there first to to the door. Uh, give me a perception check. Uh, twenty two. This door is intricately carved, very expensive and very thick. It appears to be uh, engraved in the form of a royal court. Does it appear locked? Does not appear to be locked. Okay. I check it for traps <laughs> and to see if it's locked. Sure. It is not locked. Give me an investigation check. Okay. Nat 20. Nope, there ain't no there ain't no traps on this thing. Okay, and it's just like, well, shall we venture forth and slowly open the door? Camille and Daphne, are you following him in or fuck him? He's on his own. <laughs> I kick the door open. Please, I guess we follow. <clears throat> there is a green glow coming from within this room. Once you open the door, it appears to be coming from underneath a lavish bed. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, underneath a massive four poster bed in the center of the room. Hmm. Reach of the glow extends up to the doorway, but not beyond it. And it pulses like a heart. Oh. Well, that's kind of scary. Yeah. Hmm. Is there anything in, else in the room, like a box or something? Everybody roll an investigation. Please. See this look on my face? I just <laughs> rolled another net 20. Nice. 17. So 27. <laughs> uh, Daphne and Zadar, you notice a metal case on the far side of the chamber. Uh, however, it is strewn in clothing. Uh, again, the floor is red marble. Uh, Camille, you notice, peering underneath the bed, is that the green glow comes from an irregularly shaped stone that pulses. Uh, if somebody has detect magic that up 
that would be a good good thing to have right about now. <laughs> Are any of you venturing inside the room? Uh, well, I already looked under the bed. Well, you opened the door. The green glow extends up to the door, but not beyond. But I can see the thing under the bed? Mm-hmm. And can I see the bed, the case? Mm -hmm. You also notice there's no dust on this floor. Mm. Okay. Uh, well, we can investigate this. Tigress but... leads in and goes, what are we waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, my spidey senses aren't going off, so... I mean, I am cautious, though. So, I have Mage Hand at the ready. And since I got a 30-foot reach, would I be able to reach the stone and act or the object and place it in the case and close it? Uh, no, the uh, case is too far away. Okay. All right. You can grab the stone and bring it forward. I grab the stone and hold it aloft to better see it, but I don't, I don't. Well, you have to move it out from underneath the bottom of the bed. I will. I will. Okay. The foot of the bed or the side of the bed? Side of the bed. Uh, the green light intensifies and the pulsing becomes more rapid. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> What should I do, guys? Should I drop this or what? <laughs> Three black beams of light emit from the green stone and strike that's each never one good. of you. That's never good. Give me a wisdom save. Okay. Wow. Uh, I'm not going to save with that. 18. Yeah. Five. Daphne? Nine. I have a plus uh, six. That was insane. <laughs> Daphne and Zanar become feeble minded. Uh, well, is that anything new? <laughs> roll D8. That, that is bad. If it's the feeble mind spell, we're fucked. So, what are we rolling? You and Daphne are rolling a D8. Ooh, that guy. Three. Daphne. Two. Wow. That's hard. I know. I know. I know that spell very well. So yeah, uh, we're we're mindless. Uh, at this point. Camille, you and Tigress see poop, the stone fall to the ground. Uh, and we can't understand you at all. And you know what? Since we covered cliffhangers this week on Between the Rolls, that's where we're going to end, boys and girls. The party's in deep shit. Uh, yeah. David, what'd you think? I knew there was going to be problems grabbing that goddamn stone, but I never thought feeble would be it. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Ghost Tower of Inverness for giving me that idea. Wow. Okay. Daphne or Daphne? Caitlin, what'd you think? <laughs> I mean, apparently I'm not allowed to be able to think at this point. So. Yeah. Not, not for two hours at least. <laughs> oh, thank God. Because you okay. know the feeble might, or, you don't want to know. Two days. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Oh my god. If it was the full force of the spell, that's until it's dispelled. Oh my. Wow. Yeah. And Carrie. I'm excited for my new mount. I want to take it for a ride. <laughs> yeah, I was like, damn. <laughs> that is... <laughs> but that could only carry one. So that could only carry you. So. Oh, I was irritated about the mount first, but now I'm not. Yeah. So yeah, but, now, now you're irritated about a whole different thing. Yeah, no, it's I, I'm all good. I'm smart. 
You it's, already knew you were the smartest person <laughs> in the room, so there you go. You and Tigerus, baby. That's right. Uh, uh, the alchemy book will come in handy because I've got alchemy skills, so... Yeah. But yeah. not at this point. Sort yeah. of, maybe. Sort of. <laughs> yeah. You're going to have to re-roll because it may be a permanent effect. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's what I thought. Folks, there you go. That's how you do a fucking cliffhanger, and it was done on accident. Uh, oh, and look, five minutes ahead of schedule. Kyle. There you go. Well, you know, some people like that thing called critical role, so... Uh, if, you, if you were pre-gaming with us, we appreciate it. Uh, folks, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit with us, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, go ahead. It's on uh, tinyurl.com RPG swag. Uh, if you want custom-made dice, hit up Pirate Dog Dice, because they're only doing custom. Uh, and if your game stinks and you need some adventure sense, too, class it up uh, check out oddfishgames.com they'll also help you write putrid sewer scenarios. that's right don't get putrid sewer or you'll puke like kyle uh and there's one to thing a kickstarter uh at rpg with your cat folks uh for all of us here at murder hobo inc thanks for joining us if you want to join us on a game or on the talk show we got two one shots tomorrow night and saturday night M Hobo Inc. Gmail or Twitter. Hit us up. Check us out. We will get you in a game. Folks, let's give them a big old wave and tell them thank you. Die, 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 die. Meeting you guys. <laughs> <laughs>